don't see how Zap lives through a team fight here. Yeah, do I? I feel like Final K just runs this game unless they get some good ganks and solo and put them behind. I mean, bro, I love scary D back on Achilles, though, man. Let's go. I, <laughs> I just don't know how much value is going to get from the pick here unless he just has, like, I would say, like, a stellar individual performance. Because I just can't see... I don't the, see the strength in the pick. Yeah, like, Achilles into Heim just looks really rough in the late game fight. So he has to dive the post, and then he has to thorns the post hole, but... I don't know. And just... third peel, he gets shredded. He has to be scared of cracking. Like, it's just it's just too much, I feel. And you in the cripple, too, it really affects how the way you fight. I just feel like Ghost has... That's like a 70-30 draft this game. Like, I think their draft is way better with the Susano Kukulin than the Thor Arthur. I agree. Completely. I don't know. I think Paul just has to literally hyper carry. Yeah, it just hit everything and make it to late game where they're not behind by at least like 5k and then just start hitting everything. Mm -hmm. Or if Sam messes up in the early game. And that's the only way that Ghost loses. I mean, if they come into this draft and they're just confident that they can just take it to late game, which literally all these Worlds games have been going late game, then I think Ghost should just win. still one shot people really really well and i think that has really caught people off guard this weekend how much damage oh i guess for the bets hold on chat build throughout all stages of the game it's been really hold on hold on hold on in these late game fights i mean sam for soccer got in there on paul in that last who will win game two it was enough man i'm a monster and sam couldn't keep up I okay, guess five minutes on this, so that one is started. Let me get the channel point one. I think it is, and, and this is the type of pick that I wanted to see Ghost go for. Who in this game? PK Ghost. Oh, it's saved. Really, really early game focus. So okay, both are running chat. They made a lot of mistakes, and even though that that game is won by PK, I think that Ghost kind of threw that one. If we're if we're calling a spade a spade. Not to take any credit away from the Pittsburgh Knights, of course. They they take advantage of mistakes better than anybody in the late game. Yep. This Ghost Gaming team is was ill-equipped to go as late as they did with that draft. They weren't planning on playing that long. With this draft, they, they are much more well-equipped and ready to I go. I cannot believe they're respecting you that much. They should have a decent shot. Panda Cat and Mike were the big heroes for them in that game one. Fine, okay. His great moments there as well. The real hope, I gotta think, is that... Mike gets plucked in. That Twig can play better, but Mike's okay. trouble. That heart bomb's okay. gonna, gonna Wait, come down. He didn't jump. Oh my god. He's dead. He didn't level jump. Bro, I, even if you don't level jump, how do you show your one there? I mean, I guess you have to, right? Just hopefully hit the stun. Yeah. But still. Alright, I respect it, Neil. You level jump against us, second? Like, might as well go for it. I've got no problem with that. One. What a start from PK in this one, finding the pressure over there in duo Mike, starting with that blink. Oh, I just realized that PK went purple to alpha and held hog the whole time. They expected to get pressure, which is why Ghost Duo was able to go oracles off the bat. Well, I'm having seen sword thanks to twin out with your sub, baby. Look at that, man. During the course of this yeah, also, putting Mike behind is kind of a GG for Ghost, I think. He's a god that isn't great free five. His his fight isn't that strong, but as soon as they always rely on after boots, you feel PBM dictating the pace. You have really, really good all in potential. Your mobility is fantastic throughout all stages of the game. And I would love to see Ghost try and turn the pressure onto Paul a little bit earlier than what we've seen from Paul. Sam rotating the solo blinks. I think he loaded his one to kill Oracles. Nice. From fine, okay, is there a response tank in solo? Is what Ghost needed. And if anyone knows what happens if you let Scary get to the late game with Achilles for free, <laughs> it's Sam for soccer. We've Steve holding wave here. Great moments from the crowd during this year, but Scary hovering the Achilles in a world finals game, I think, would have elicited a great response from a crowd full of Smite fans. This was his iconic pick last year. Now it's become Guan. He's really following the same. Is Fire Game full boots here? Same and the same God until they start to take it away from you. 
Ghost took it away from him. Oh no. And going to the Achilles makes a lot of sense, but this that was a rough one. Really strong. Even though he can find that identity as a lane bully, his wave clear is not very good yep. early on. So trying to get to him when he has yeah, Sam's been rushing boots. Dodges just to try and clear the wave is a really good way to, to open up a gank potential. Smart gank by Sam. And if Achilles is lane bully number two, in comes Zatman. We'll talk about nice. There's a big stun, but the field of law from Zatman is better. Mike. Oh no. Sam for the cleanup duty. Custodian Sam for Ooh. soccer finds the first kill, but gives up on Neil. Surprised that Sam doesn't get that one too. Neil able to escape pretty well, but maybe a little bit of lack of patience. Yeah, that was that was that was done. Either way, you get the more as soon as they initiated, dead, you get zapped feeds. I mean, Pika actually played that insanely well for not having an ult. Something we talk about when it comes to ganks and who is who deserves the credit. going for the short TP play there was actually insane. I guess he has the confidence too with Sam being around the corner. Yeah, yeah, it was a, that was a giant debate. He was rotating for a long time. He deliberately doesn't hit the wave, so I kind of like the play over. style of yeah, Twig kind of farming see. everything with these high clear mages, really and then Sam playing seven, this seven, way seven, compared to last game, where he's just rotating around ganking nonstop because all of his laners now feel such safety, I would say. Yeah. First blue invade of many. Dude, they're so annoying to play against, though. Because you always have to worry about Twig rotating on the map, and then you always have to play to, like, defend your buffs, and, like, getting on the map against Ghost and invading is so hard, because they're always the one making the play first. I feel that, but I don't. I do feel it, I understand it, but don't feel it. <laughs> it's like, dude. Okay, so me and Jake obviously love fighting in duo, and yesterday against Ghost, I was just like, we can never fight in duo, because we're literally getting calmed every 30 seconds. That twig is running into duo jungle. Then it's just smash pinging. Yep. And we didn't even hear the Anubis rotation. We just like, okay, he's here. I mean, he did call it and ping it, but we just didn't hear because me and Jake are deaf. Oh, well, you guys are already in the in the in the screaming in the fight. Yep. I was just like, oh, that is on Fort. Okay, this game's just over. Yeah. This comp fits their style way more. Kind of just a Sam diff, I would say. Let him try and run it for you. Great plays for PBM as well. And Scary D in the wrong part of town is going to have to use that fatal strike defensively. This is much more. Yeah, this game's over. I was going to say earlier, we had to stop for more of Ghost pressure. That what they really need is for Sam and Twig to kind of step up a little bit here for them. So how about Twig center crack and forcing the beads? How about Sam all over the map, a part of all four kills? Exactly what they needed from that middle of the map. And the best thing I think Sam training ult there for scary for results fine. They just make scary less comfortable in lane, the and they can still kill scary without Susano. This game's over, yeah, I would say. We're gonna use Sam as that extra pressure valve wherever we need him on the map. We play around that perfectly, and then we're Surprise gonna. not there for the blue invade. I guess some people had to back. That's where they made a couple positional mistakes. A couple yeah, kind of crazy that no, they're there for the blue or the red invade. Entirely different if it isn't for a couple bad positional uh, mistakes. I think too many people had to back right here. Feeling that the leash on where they're standing sure. is gonna be a lot tighter. In this game number two, I, I'd expect also true. They came in a little hot in game one. True. Yeah. I think about that. Mike and Panda Cat play. Can't really ever call a PK game, game over, huh? Punished. That's a really big example of one of those areas where they gave back some pressure. So I like that they have the confidence, but they're easing it up here a little. Yeah, bit. I think they have to throw it to lose Mike, this. this final case okay, is really massive. Ready, but scary this close to the tier two is really not in trouble. But Fido K already showed us what he can do when he rotates just a little bit out to that corridor next to mid. Is this a rotation of gold? No. Thought he might look for it again. And this is tough for Ghost. I think they wait for their the next right thing, item. This wave yep. Locked on his side of the map. He's got to be careful for Fido K's damage. He got some. He's he's three one. Oh, okay, he's good. Can't keep up this chase, though, um, oh, oh, this is actually nice. so bad by fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, nice ult. Can they kill him? Yeah. Nice. Can he get a double? Now he missed pool. Now he's in trouble. He used a lot. Now Scylla's here. Okay, he gets... Oh my, he gets one. Good trade. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that's a lot a of space throw. for Scary. 
and I want your opinion on it, man. I that don't know. Game one. I mean, they missed a lot of farm for that lose backs and a full mid wave, but I guess the new is the mid wave. But I'm surprised that Fine committed that hard, but didn't feel comfortable with three running. Yeah, but he blinked though. Right but you think he should have done it right away? You think he would have caught him before the blink? Maybe. I'm just surprised that he just doesn't go that route anyways, but then still wants to juke him between tower, right? Like, if you're going to make the play, make the play. I don't know. I guess he does have normal and he played for the normal. I think it was just too much in general. Yeah, agreed. To Fine's credit, he nearly killed them both. Yes. In that moment. Only, you only do that if, if you have four gold and you have pressure in mid left. Yep. Between tier two and Phoenix. Agreed. Really Seemed like a very you know, ranked or like scrim play, I would say. Yeah. Just like, yo, I just sold him. <laughs> I'm exerting my dominance. <laughs> You don't want to let Scary get back into that when this man's like level six versus Susano level seven. Like that game just looks done already. Yep. And that's given Twig some room to get ahead. I mean, Paul's now farming. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Really well and force great oh, by Neil. Neil. Yeah, he's been so good with the CCM, you know. It's like all, like, every game I've ever watched. Great work there from it's kind of just not scared to press it. And a lot of yeah. supports are, like, greedy. Oh, that was a bad beat. And now he's going to die for it. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. This is a sketch, though. I think he dies for this. Oh, he missed! He missed! Oh, oh he can double punish! Oh. We do hate that. There was some rage jumps by Paul. Yeah. Yo, it's so funny how we can read the rage jumps, because it doesn't matter how pro you are, bro. You, you got a rage jump. Yep. Someone lives with one HP off of a missed ability, you're just like, okay. Right. We just go and next. Lose the right -hand side comes in, looks like he might be in mid but you make the great call to understand that, that fine is willing to trade his life for a gold fury either way but when you get one like you had to, you had to trade there because yeah, you know you're dead really so you just commit to that one man yeah uh, tough beads there from fred to, to boost oh that hurts man yeah. oh my god you look down at your slash line after that and then they take your bags oh my i'll just have 60 right now for you torment is an easy kill for him oh paul should be so big off that kill we're only 11 minutes into this one this has been great aggression coming out from the Chaos side team here in this one. And great work from all the teams to make sure, from all the players of the team rather, to make sure they've been there to follow up. And I'll have you know, if he went to Deso build that he's been going every game, he would have killed them. Because he's been going Deso into, into Divine. Wait, Deso? mean he won? Or what? Oh, okay. Does he live? Nice. Oh, nice. That's good. And then Neil, I mean, Neil's getting so much good XP. He's like, damn, yeah, boy. <laughs> He's getting so much farming. It's like, someone please come through this wave. I'm thieves. Oh, that's so bad for him. Unfortunate. I mean, they're doing a good job of stalling the bleeding. Well, I feel like Gold is just chasing kills and not just choking farm, you know? What a waste of your time there to make those. Dude, they're, it's so annoying to always play on your back foot. Like, yep. he was like, having to fight every back camp. Yep. Bro, he, he should have went Deso, man. He, he's literally went Deso every game other than the last game, which I agree because you have an Anubis. But Paz, I don't agree with. And they have no healing outside of that. Yep. You go, you go to Deso, 100% final K dies there. Yep. Now they've met a bunch of resistance from BK. Agreed. And they look a bit more ready. That, that I don't know. That's a good way to put it. This Ghost Gaming team hasn't lost the nerves. in months. You heard Gormai just say that. Remember, they swept phase two playoffs. They didn't drop a nah, game. Nah, there's no healing there. I mean, maybe there's Sona Gaia, but you, you, you would already had it. You... So Unless you do so much damage, it's like the best spike level, item for Scylla. Yeah, I think he had to just be like backing at that time for like some reason or another. It's just like, okay, I don't want to wait. I need to spike now. True. But they're staying close on XP, which is the most important right now. Like the goal is cucked, but the XP, I don't know how they're not losing too much XP. I don't know how how Cubo's even right now. Like literally everything's went wrong for him. I think it's right now is a good time to be shoving. Blue buff's about to spawn. I don't know. Sam is trying to pressure him too much, and he's not not power farming. 
I like that Ghost yeah, I think that's... I mean, Sam's place I'll just give up farm and then fight wherever PBM tells him to. They want Pyro and Fury. That's how they really put the hurt on Knights. Because those duo side backs have been up forever and Sam's still playing... Or he was just playing solo jungle. Instead of farming the red and backs, which a lot of junglers would just be farming, like the easy farm. Facts. <laughs> Final case is <laughs> just loving it, bro. And if Fine's gonna be this aggressive, I think that you do have easy gank pass for Cubo Frick. It's crazy and scary so seems this call mentally. Yeah. These backs, yeah. Making sure that Fred's when he's bad, it's tier me out sometimes. Is that true? me out sometimes. Like, he's just like, he's like 45 minutes in the game, he gets Cubo ulted. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna hold B's here in a team fight. Oh, the Finner ult last game, dude. At his purple buff, where he just held beads forever. Yeah. Oh, that hurt me. He does, sometimes, it's just, sometimes it's like, wow, he's so disciplined. Sometimes it's like, bro, what are you doing, my yeah. guy? Oh, boy. This is the Speed fault days, of Cupid. Yeah. Don't relic. Don't. Oh, Steve. Man, bro, the mess. No link, way. Link. Oh, there he's done. Yeah. I mean, uh, they overextend uh, pretty far. Cuba with an ult. Okay, they're going on Twig. Huge. Nice. It's with Tsukiyomi ult. Is this week they have one? no servo. Season seven, that was week one. Puck, let's go, oh, kid. No. Let's go, kid. Big execute. Oh, but then he's initiating. Oh I, don't, I don't know about this. Okubo's oh, done. The transform now. Oh no. Here. Yeah, yeah. Fine kills everyone. Oh boy. Trioni. Fine found the team fight, whereas yeah, last yeah, game three man all. Ghost make that mistake again, but this time it doesn't seem quite as fatal. Yeah, because fine. Okay, is right there. This should yep. still be an Oni Fury yep. in Ghost Gaming's favor. Unfortunate. Uh, 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 okay. I mean, fine, fine. mistake coming from Twig. Yeah, uh, Sam also. I don't blame the Neil for going for that pluck, but he kind of baited everyone into that, that fight. Was coming, I feel like you had to go for it though, right? Like it's not the bad call, but it's not the right call, right? Like. You're behind game. like that. You find a good opportunity where they have no Serbol, no Cupid ult. I mean, on a, no, no. Oh, actually, did have time. on that world stage, but you've spent all year in the number one. Yeah, I don't know if I hate that play. But I mean, there's also like your coach is just gonna tell you to get the get the win and get out. Like they overextended. Criticizing a team like Sanguine. Oh, that's so hard. I think yeah, you. I think so too, and you got to imagine. Yeah, it has to be like, I feel like a call from Zap, right? Because he's seen the whole fight. Yeah, just mm -hmm. take the win, just take the win. Because when you're in it, bro, you're winning that one, you're winning that fight, and you, you feel you're behind, you haven't been able to have a good fight all game. You just go. Yep. I feel like they got so baited for going for that. I mean, you lost Zap for Twig, which isn't the worst, but. And yeah, you split farm. I think you're fine there. Yeah. And then you, and then you can D gold, right? Like, yep. that would have been so good because now you stall for gold. Scary's even more screwed now. Yep. Maybe you're banning the Coca-Cola next game? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I, they're taking Scary D out, right? Like, you bang Juan, you take a Colon, and you force him into, like, Achilles or KA. I mean, you just pick characters that are good versus dashes, or so cripples, even though I didn't pick cripple. But I guess they have one cripple. Scary almost for PK. The Ghost is making considerable mistakes. At this point, I don't know. Still up by this much. What did PK uh, ban this game? Not seen final form in this a little one. drunk, I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was, a, it was the same as game one. He's been in this kind of deficit all week long, right? Oh, yeah. And have you seen this team get nervous? In fact, when I was watching the Our coach was on comms now. It is scary to me how hmm? calm this team seems. Someone chat was asking if coaches were on comms. But that is a moment your coach will bring up after the game and say, Yeah, you guys should have just taken this win and gotten out. No doubt. Yeah. Like, that was so great by you guys to continue there, fighting point, when you got the free pick on Twig with who is bigger than Steve. It was sucks. It's so easy to see that from a top down. Or not yep. even easy to see from a top down. Just like it's more clear, but like from there, bro, you just, you just go. It's just... I think pro players like currently need to be so disciplined in the chases. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's gotten so good at baiting, like, quote unquote, the fight. That I think SSG is probably the best at that, right? Like, baiting yep. fights, you just pull back all the time. Dar doesn't vote play so safe. Like, they play to not take any damage. Mm -hmm. Which caught him in the, which caught him, right? Because PK did, like, plays the opposite style in the late game. 
not really trying to get over and you can't play that safe because then it's literally a 50 50 at 50 minutes you know what i mean it's whoever wins the next fight wins the game to say if you want to really start to jam it at five mid right now if you're ghost just try and get that pressure yeah and, and use tower advantage in order to get some more global gold off the map I kind of like them slowing the pace Raw, down. Raw, Rat, Set. They need to stop batting Rat. rat. The Rat was to take it away from you guys, right? Like, I don't know. It, I feel like Final K doesn't lock in Rat. Versus a 5K lead early on. Also, it's like... Excuse me, 5K lead early on. Which like poison better, would you rather drink? The, the rat poison or liquid colon poison? In your build, so getting those almost feels like a bigger and both seem equally as scary, so it's like, why ban anything there if both are as scary? Finally resets. But I don't know about losing 30 How much gold does Scary have right now? For what essentially amounts to a bluff. Either way, though, Ghost had to give that one up. I mean, you get the blink from Neil, and like I said, you're not trying to, to really force it at this You like point. having a coach? Yeah. That's, uh, coaches that's do a lot. See if anybody's home sort of situation. Well, if your coach is good, they do a lot. Ghost, if no one shows up from Pittsburgh Knights, sweet. We have FG. If they kind of get blink, on you about things so that you on. should be getting on to about, blink. basically. about it. How much of that type of crime do you think is impulsive, though, where you just check to see how they're feeling about it? I bet not as much as you say. Right? Really? You think it's like... Whole but they're, whole but they're, they're slowing down, I feel like. They just keep waiting for gold fears and not really invading reds, you know? Like, with an 8k gold lead at 19, I, I, I feel pretty strong. Yeah. Like, at least tier 1 mid, you know? Yeah, I, I think they just need to play with fine, play, but the silver pick is kind of getting online at this point. Yeah. Probably not the idea. And he went pesty, and I think he's going into 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 shifters. But I don't know if that's. I don't know. I feel like I would go like Genji's, right? Like this still is the only thing that will ever kill you. Mm, he doesn't have much fizzy either at that point. He just has a lot of health, and they have Reaver and Kins. Yeah. But it's gonna be the next place yeah. that really determines. Maybe a mantle. I feel like mantle's been under underutilized by tanks. They never build it. I just I don't think they like building it. It's like a not a fun item to build. Definitely not fun. <laughs> it's definitely the baby item of smite. Yep. But you don't want to die, build mantle. You know, you peak it ghost holds all the cards. I think they were just situation. playing to get their spikes and then forcing PK to fight them at gold. You're doing more, they, yeah, you but I think they might PK give it up. I don't mind giving it up, to be honest. They're playing for fire. Nah, he's backing. They're doing the, the, the one-man zone on gold and then rotating. Everyone out farmed, yeah. yeah. I honestly don't mind if they give up on gold. They're, they're, they've been playing kind of slow outside of the goals, right? Goals will only place they show that they will they will run at you. Yep. Just keep farming. This firefight is going to be tough when you're down 10k. That's your, your best damage instantly coming from Sobek without putting yourself in absolute melee range. Where? But I think the reason Neil doesn't I mean, they first put them in duo, the and then coverage. I think it was just Sam getting the gank in solo, and then immediately ganking duo right after. The worst thing that you can do is try and go for a steal there. And yeah, they already did didn't have pressure in mid against post, so they literally lost all three lanes in like the first two minutes. Or like no, whatever no. time that was. There's nothing better than jungler feeling. You gank, you go speed, you go blue, and you gank again. Nothing better. I, I also feel about Suki, but he can't really kill anyone because he's a tank jungler from behind. Neo loves to do that. Okay, just start it. Neo Ma has info. 80%, not too shabby. They're zoning. They're securing with Kraken. Should be full committing. Oh, buddy, they stole it, bro. Okay, Paul. But such a good steal from Paul. The Kraken was so late. Just run. Run for your life. Oh my god, he got slept. Oh, I thought that crush was going to hit him. Ghost is, Ghost is angry. Because that's what you waited for 22 minutes. That's what your leader was supposed to be worth. Yep. They should lose a tier 1 at least. Actually, they're not even pushing mid. They're backing. Oh, man. Okay, I said, I don't know who you've been saying, but I've been saying all in scary have been the MVPs for PK to set. And every time they need to make a play, they do. And literally, again, Paul making the play that saves PK. Saying, I've been saying scary, scary D, like the most consistent. Paul shows up when you need it. And I think, for the record, Ghost can. Scary might be. Would you? I mean, I feel like he used to be like a lane monster, but now he's just picking picks that farm in team fights. He's being, I would say, like a demi style almost. Okay, Neil's trolling. Neil's definitely trolling. And please do not just run. Give him tier two if you have to. Go shove mid. 
This is so slow macro. As soon as you see that man in Niflheim, I'm running mid. I was gonna say maybe they were calling to fight that. No nah, way, you lose that so hard. More than anything else, and you'd rather well, it depends on how fast you can get on them and threaten them, because all three of their ults were still down from fire. That is a good call, yeah. All, all I saw was Niflheim. It's like, I think you kind of treat that as like a long-term Freya banish on a frontliner, so like, it kind of sets up for both teams, but... but they're so far. Yeah, I just don't know why Neil was there. I mean, maybe he got baited by Zap to push solo tower or something? Maybe. That was just bad position in general. You have zero vision. Everyone's missing on the map. I feel like that was, that was just... But that was a good call from Ghost too, right? Like, why the hell would there five people in solo right now? Yep. I think that made that call, and then he was just like, Oh, sorry, but you're dead. See you later. <laughs> sorry, <dude. laughs> I've been the Jake so much. Totally makes sense. PK... And it slows down their FG so hard, bro. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate, man. No, they're not. I mean, PK can certainly. I don't even know if they oh, can that still that group. Is... Oh no, this is dash. Oh man. Oh, he panics. Aegis for Kraken. Defensively, Kraken makes Zapman use the Aegis and the aggression. Even has blink here. Yeah, yeah, he has beads still. Don't beads it. Nice beads, baby. I wait not to beads right away. Zapman does live, but he is so. Wait, maybe we yeah. fight this now. Two ults down. Two ults. You have to in the next sixty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he missed block. Oh my, fine. What an ult. The damage from Scylla is serious. The backline damage is serious. Neomal's getting shredded. Oh, Sam. Of course. Of course, Paul makes the play. Of course, Paul makes the play. And now, now Twig is done. Does he have ult? Doesn't. This is just Paul diff. Yeah. Nice. Dead. Crush. Panda's in trouble. No niff. No, no three. It's no, literally just Paul diff, man. You run it down left all the way? GG, yeah. Yeah, you run it down all the way. GG. It's just Paul diff. I, I, I definitely say Paul diff, but I say Sam. That was way too deep. That was so deep. You had no help. Also, why do you think Sam full committed to Cupid when the Scylla is ulting? Why wouldn't you just play to bait the Scylla ult and then, like, dash the Scylla Sam is making a lot of mistakes, man. It's tough. But that was beautiful. Like, you got double action from Cupid. Yeah, it was double ults, but just chill at gold. Just sit at gold. Damn. absolutely shell-shocked. How do you do that? That's just Paul Diff. That's just Paul Diff. Just Paul Diff. There, there's literally no other way to put it. Paul made the plate of steel fire. Yeah, and then Paul slams Sam one shot, then takes final K to 10% for the finish. It's absolutely playing ranked, saying, okay, I got Kraken, okay, I got Serbolted, okay, this is all in my tier two. And I've been giggling as he takes all those ults. He's like, yeah, guys, I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, don't worry, guys. That's another day in the office for me. Literally, Zab did nothing that bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he Cupid ulted the air, got Kraken, got Serb, look at Serb ulted. And he still wins that fight decisively. My boy Zab, doing nothing, taking down. Just Zap Diff, you know? Zap Diff, let's be real. He just baited the whole team. Yep. I mean, he yeah, gets the Kraken, you know, then beads a the Serb ult, and then he got dope. Win. Out of way, Zap. Clap it up. <laughs> I, I think we're just banning Scylla. I've asked this five games in a row, maybe seven. I don't even know how many games I've said this. Like, he look the game. The PK looks different when they're not on Scylla. That's all I'm gonna say. On Afro, you have to shock call so much better to disengage, the engage. You have to back up, heal. You know, like me, With Scylla, just do damage and you win. I. Why would you just not put Paul on Afro? I feel like I'd be so much yes. more comfortable putting him on a healer instead of a hyper carry. All day. I would give credit to Zap for those beads, but I feel like those are pretty easy beads. Like, yeah, against Serb, I mean, you're always tanking the stone and waiting to beads the ult. Always. It's just it's just like a notable play. Like, good job. Yeah. Like, you didn't mess up. <laughs> it's it's the pat on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zap takes that pat on the back and takes a dub. That's my boy Zap. Yep. I just... <laughs> It's like, why can't they be me, bro? I just, I just want to beat the servo and ages of Kraken and take it. <laughs> when I beat the servo, I got Ravana ulted and then Rat ulted under the Phoenix.
just died. You guys gonna play back and serve? No, it's just the play is so scripted well, oh, and, and I... that you know what he's gonna do, Zen. That's why it's not like. You're just doing the best play possible. I feel like it's where you see if Ghost has Eagle on the band, right? Which is also good. Yeah. I I think as you just you, suck it up. You think you suck up the band? The, I mean, the Scylla? I, I think you're just like, okay, we've lost to it twice now. I don't want to lose a third time. Band Scylla. Yeah. But why are you so scared of Afro? Why? You literally... If anything, like we've seen Wait. Sam play Odin and, and those type of characters to so just pick a comp around that. Like they, they don't even look that good on, on Afro. Bro, you're picking Serp. Yes, you're Wait, fine. Why are you banning Afro? Actually. I don't get it. And, and you're playing Choo Choo too. Like I feel like you're not that scared of Morgan when you have a Choo Choo, right? You just have the Choo Choo run at him and he can't play the game. They would literally have zero damage in fights. I agree. And they look horrible when Paul isn't doing damage. Because Zap is, yes, he's using actives and living, but there's no damage to help him. You know what I mean? I, no I just damage feel carry. like, as a carry, I can't tell when Zap's out of, truly out of position and when he's baiting. I literally can't tell the difference. Bro, did you see versus SSG when he just casually walks past the whole team at the tier 2 and lives? And then Robin and Scylla ult two people and wipe him? And then he just turns around and the fight's over already? Yep. Bro, it, it's like, he's literally... Like casually just walking by, he's like, "Oh shit, I'm in, I'm out of position. Let me dash through five people. Oh shit, I beat <laughs> ages. Damn, I'm so good. We won this fight. Good job, no. guys." <laughs> I honestly can't tell if he's just like, "All right, Paul, here's a softball, buddy." Like, no, literally, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I can't tell anymore. Like he, I don't know. He dashes through a Poseidon three. You're trying to beat the three, and then oh. he gets caught in the three, which is a mistake, unfortunate. And then just like, yeah, I'm gonna ult, nothing, get crack and use ages. Like, it doesn't make sense. It looks like it's going bad, but it's, it just doesn't. Like, maybe he's just so much smarter than us. I, I, honestly, I have come to the conclusion that it's no longer a bait. I mean, that everything's a bait, but it's not a bait. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It just happens to mean. work so often, but Paul is just like used to it, you know? 